Well, all right, all right. So, you know, I have to tell you, I've, I'm fairly accustomed to uh, troubleshooting, uh, repairing, adjusting, and even upgrading just about every printer that I've owned, you know, in the past 15 years, 20 years, who, who, who knows how long and how many printers. <laughs> but, you know, I'd have to say the, the Bamboo Lab printers, they are a little different. And, but when it comes down to it, uh, the mechanics are just about the same, right? So when you're troubleshooting, uh, the printers with the bamboo, like I said, is a little different, but, you know, troubleshooting can be very similar. Um, now I've had the, uh, the bamboo lab, the X1 carbon for about nine months, I guess, at the time of this, uh, this video and, uh, the P1S um upgraded from a p1p i've had that for maybe you know six to eight weeks or so uh and both of these printers they have uh recommended maintenance schedules right uh to keep them running top notch and uh, and a, a lot of the maintenance is is for cleaning um uh cleaning uh lubricating and inspecting other parts for uh uh for normal wear and tear right uh, I want to focus on the hot end because every once in a while, you don't have to do it a lot, but every once in a while you're, you're going to have to replace one, right? I've heard of some guys that uh, they've had their hot end uh, actually bend, right? And of course you have to replace it. And some can bend it back. If you bend it back, be very, very careful because uh, it, it can snap pretty easy. And uh, if you don't have a spare, you're just going to be out of luck until you get one. So uh, just be careful with that. And the bending, I mean, it, and it could be from, you know, collision with, uh, say, with a print that you have on hand, uh, you know, or it could be uh, when it's going through the nozzle cleaning procedure uh, and it's going back and forth. It, it could be hitting something there because once you once you once they get hot, if they're hot, um, and it's right there on the throat is my guess is, is where they're, they're bending. Um, cause when they get hot, they, it's a little easier to bend, right? Now I've, I have not had that problem myself, but, uh, but I've heard on a lot of forums where some guys that, yeah, they're, they're bending. And, and if you see, um, then when it, when it's laying out the, the lines there on the corners and, and if you if you see they're that they're like they're misplaced or they're even off the bed now, well, it's probably because of a bent nozzle, right, a, a, or a bent hot end. And uh, so take a look at it and and go from there. But so whatever the reason, it it could be from a bad clog or maybe the nozzle's just wearing out. I mean, if you if you print a lot with uh, you know carbon fiber or a lot of the abrasive uh, filaments then uh, yeah, sooner or later you're going to have to replace them, right? Now it's pretty easy to, uh, to take that entire hot end assembly off and Bamboo, uh, Bamboo Lab has on their wiki, they, they have a couple of videos uh, that are pretty good. So if you just go to their wiki page and right there x1 and i'm concentrating on the x1 series right now so x1 series maintenance uh, then scroll down and there's the hot end assembly nozzle and and you can go through here it's pretty informative um, and you can see it has a couple of videos there uh, one for replacing the complete hot assembly and one for replacing the hot end um, So you can follow that along, but also if you take notice where it says the warning uh, that thermistor plug is equipped with a buckle or latch different than the than the fan and the heater, because there's three cables going on there. Um, and to tell you the truth, I you know I didn't see any special buckle or latch. Uh, just be careful when you're pulling any of those plugs out, and it's not hard to. Uh, uh, to distinguish one from the other 
they're they're not it's not like they're identical plugs you know one's a two of them are two pole one's a three pole and they're all different sizes so you, it, it's kind of hard to mix them up right but uh but regardless take note of that warning and uh uh and see if you have that uh that special buckler latch on the connector so doing this is not really that hard um, now and on other printers you can if you replace needed to replace the nozzle say um, they're really easy to take off right you just unscrew them and put a replacement on there the trick is that it has to be hot right when you're taking those on and off and with bamboo lab no you just can't unscrew the nozzle but everything is you don't have to have it heated up everything's already emptied out you know that there's no uh, filament in there and you just take that whole assembly off and work on it right now you have the option of replacing the hot end which is the heat sink the throat and the heater block right and it has the nozzle on there so you can replace this part of it or you can replace the entire assembly which includes uh, the hot end plus the fan uh, uh, what else this uh, the thermistor uh, that ceramic heater uh, the silicon sock right there so just the entire assembly and then all you have to do is uh, uh, just unplug it and screw it back in now if you follow their videos uh, it, it's really simple it's not hard to do uh, even rebuilding it uh, is not that hard uh, a lot of times it, it, it's really quick and easy just to to put this whole assembly on especially if you don't have the time or the inclination to do it then just replace the whole assembly um, but if you have the time uh, and and I, this is the way I like to do it I like to take it apart anyway to see you know what the problem is right I want to find a, a root cause for whatever whatever ails it what what's I want to know what's going on so and while I do that, then I'll replace the parts that needed to be replaced. So if you're going to take the hot end assembly apart, um, be sure to be careful with the thermistor and the ceramic heater. Um, now you can see here, here's the, the cable for the fan. This is for the ceramic heater. And you can see it poking out over here. Now the thermistor goes on the side, I'll show you that here in a second, and, and routes up. Um, but this is what could happen. You see these are very thin wires going through, and you can see how they're separated right here. And this is, uh, this is what it should look like. Now this is the pack of spares that I bought. Now you see how they, they come through and they're little, like a little spot of solder or whatever at the tip that keeps it together. And if you're not careful it could separate just like this one did. So in this case I think the, uh, the hot end will still work. It just needs to be cleaned up and uh, put fresh thermal paste or the thermal um, yeah comes with with plenty of it a thermal grease or thermal paste um, it comes with everything there's plenty of it make sure you you put plenty of it on there and even in that little hole where the where the thermistor goes in right there and and you can follow along with that on the bamboo video uh, but what happened, I had taken this off, you know, as part of that troubleshooting, and when I took this clip of, 
this clip, you know, and I took everything off. And while I was pulling this out, you know, the, the thermal, uh, the thermal paste had just gotten so dried up. This thing was just wedged in there. When I yanked it out, I put a little too much force, and poof, it just separated. So that little piece is still in there somewhere. And but I, I think I can get in there with a pick or. Uh, anything clean it out clean all this stuff off and I think this will still work so so this is the 0.6 nozzle uh, hot end that I had robbed the uh, thermistor off of so I can get my printer going again while I waited for these parts so I mean it's very rare that I have to change these out I usually do um, use a 0.4 nozzle but with this one just in case I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and replace the thermistor on this 0.6 nozzle just in case because every once in a while if I do switch over and need to, to, to switch it'll be ready to go I won't have to go through this it's pretty easy there's the fan off of it. And this clip is pretty easy. It just slides off. Sometimes you need to get, um, if you have a little screwdriver or There she goes, and you can see that ceramic heater still on there, but I still want to put some paste. I want to make sure there's plenty of paste on uh, for the thermistor. This was a previously opened pack. Now I'll put some on the tip, and if you can get in there and get plenty of paste inside, and bingo, insert it all the way in and then bend it back. And when you put the clip on, you'll notice, uh, see it has those little indentations or those little it gives clearance for these cables. So let's put this, we'll slide this back on. But once that is on, now we can put the fan back on. Let's see. There it is. So there's that, and let's see, I had some other socks. Let's go ahead and put a sock on it too. the sock on and make sure your opening here lines up with the cable egress up here around the throat and there she blows so now I have my 0.6 hot end assembly ready to install so like I said it's not really that hard at all with uh, there's the uh, the hot end itself, and there it is in a pack. And you can see it comes with the hot end. It comes with the little clip here, the silicon sock, even the hardware. Plenty of thermal paste. Everything's there. 
when you get the entire assembly. So you can see everything's there, the fan, uh, the clip, uh, the silicon sock, everything is assembled and ready to go. You just plug it right back in, uh, screw it down, and and boom, you're done. But just be careful with that. Yeah, and with, with this hot end, I was changing it as part of a, a whole range of troubleshooting that I was going through when I was battling symptoms from a, a firmware update that had a lot of printers just go haywire, right? And uh, in my troubleshooting, I was trying to rule out any mechanical issues um, before blaming, before I, you know, blame anything else or blame the firmware. But, uh, but luckily, you know, I had a spare hot end assembly. Um, it was, uh, different size. This was the 0.6 millimeter, but at least I had a spare, so I wasn't left out in the cold. Um, so I just put that 0.6 millimeter in and uh, then went and ordered uh, a replacement hot end and, and went ahead and ordered some thermistors and all that good stuff. And I would highly recommend having some of these thermistors, uh, the ceramic heaters, just all the little parts in your toolbox, uh, just in case, right? Because if anything goes bad, if one of those little pieces goes bad, then you're just out of luck with the printer until you can replace it, right? So it's good to have some spare parts here and there. Yeah, so I would give it a shot. It's not that hard. And I guess that is it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to reference this video or reference the uh, Bamboo Lab Wiki page. It's pretty informative. And I guess that is it. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch my next video.